see. Alright, cool, we're live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our very first episode of Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. I'm Gina, a.k.a. The Gina Show, and it is time for a brand new adventure, children. So this is the Nonary Games, which you guys donated for, which was amazing, and I love you, and I can kiss you all. Mwah! Thank you so much for your support that we can get this stuff into rotation. Um... And so 999 is the first part of the Nonary Games. This is a game that is like part visual novel, part escape the room, part puzzle game. It's it's a really cool mixture of stuff. It's been many years since I've played it. I've never beaten it. I've only gotten through a couple of rooms before. There's lots of different endings, so maybe we'll just play it blind and we'll just pick stuff to do. We'll see. I don't want to give too much away. But anyway, let's get started because I'm so excited. The only thing I ask is that you let me know if the uh, sound is bad. Don't you dare start looping through things. Great, okay, Dave, save data. Wow, this is literally just ported straight from the 3DS. Yes, I do have to save there. There, there, and everywhere. And thank you for giving me multiple save slots, too. This way, we can maybe do all the endings if we feel like doing them. Novel and adventure. You can switch in and out of each interchange. No, I want the adventure one. I want to do the puzzles. I'm not here to just see a story. I want to do the puzzles. We are going to figure this out as a family, children. It's happening. Anyway, enjoy the intro. Junpei awake and his eyes snapped open. Now, before you start getting up on me, this is not Junpei from Persona 3, okay? It just so happens that the main character of this game is also named Junpei. It's okay. You can all calm down. It's alright. What? What the? Oh, good. They put some voice acting in it, too. Alright, so the reason why I bring this up <clears throat> is because. Um. thing with this game is, uh, it was originally for the 3DS, um, in which it was just, you know, it had no sound or anything, it was just like a very simple visual novel puzzle solver thing. It was ported to mobile, but they took the puzzles out of it and made it just a visual novel, which, if you ask me, my darlings, that defeats the purpose. That's friggin' ridiculous. So I guess that's why they give you, um a choice between novel mode and action mode, whatever. We are going to be playing this game. I'm not sitting here looking for a story, okay? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize his surroundings. Ow. Oh! With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw his hand out to steady himself, but he found himself groping in empty air. Uh, what? Whoa! His voice is much deeper than I had ever thought it would be. <laughs> there was no voicing in the original games. Uh, he balanced lost his still fuzzy mind, struggling to understand what was going on. Jupe tumbled down to the cold grave floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? A bed? Ah, I fell pretty far. Ah, that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it it's shaking too fast for that. Uh anyway. Junpei rubbed the growing bump on his head and gingerly climbed to his feet. His balance regained, he finally took his first good look around the room. And muttered to himself. Where am I? His pain momentarily forgotten in the face of the minutes um, the minutes passed while Jupy struggled to get his bearings. Then as suddenly as they'd begun, the tremors ceased. Wait, it it stopped? A cold silence fell over the room. 
From somewhere far away, Junpei could hear the sound of metal squeaking. What's that sound? Okay, yeah, this is what I want, I think. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out which one is which. Like, is this the adventure screen, or does that mean to click to switch to it? That's... I think this is the adventure five. screen. Five. Five? Okay, so we have a door with a number on it. What's this five mean? Well, it's a number, Junpei. It's a numerical ah, digit. It won't open. What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Oh, okay, well, this looks like a key card sort of thing. I remember this uh, puzzle actually. Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! <sighs> huh? What the hell is this? A watch? It, it doesn't look like one. Five. That's... That's the same as the door. Uh oh! What? How do I take this off? A bomb! Maybe I don't know what you're talking about. pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if that's gonna work too well. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Whoa! Ah, ah, my head. Huh. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Ooh. I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? Oh! What the... Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you know my thoughts exactly? What the, what the hell is going on here? Help! What the hell? God damn it! Hey, anyone? Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's, it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, I need to find a way out, and fast. Ah. And so, we get our very first seek a way out! Yeah, it gets way too intense here. Alright. Um. Why is it? Ooh. Okay, so this is basically showing me, alright. Operations during an escape. During an escape, we're restricted to an area. Our goal is to search around and uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints that will help us escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. We can use Q and E to move around the room. Be oh, beautiful. This is so much nicer than touch screen. Thank you. Alright, let's see what we got here. About items. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to this item screen. Click item on the top. Clicking item on the top left will take you to the item screen. Alright, so we got a note from a bullet supporter. We can turn these around. So we have triangles that are red and blue. The notes got red, yep, red and blue. Ooh. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. And then you can have that item in hand. And you can use it to investigate the room to maybe trigger a reaction with something, like using a key on something. Try switching out to the S. Clicking an item by pressing B to change the item. Oh my goodness, you made this so much more convenient! Picture frame. An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. There's screws keeping the back on. Well, maybe if we find a way to get those screws out, it might be useful. What do you think? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go out. Water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something into the window is going to stop the water. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. Agreed. Okay. No dice, it's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. All right, so we have a keyhole here with four digits. We're not quite ready to do that yet. I can't keep, I can keep looking until the cows come home. I'm gonna find here, up, up here is that pillow. Damn it, is there anything else I can use? Look the middle bunk, there's nothing useful here. I can't see the bottom of the ladder. Oh man, the water's already up to the bottom of the bed. I've gotta hurry this up, yeah. There's a blue briefcase on top of the bed. There's a 
hide at the other end of the bed. There's nothing up top, alright? Oh. Well, let's see if there's anything in here. <gasps> Looks like there is. A key. There's a little blue key in the bottom of the pot. So let's look individually. He's pretty small. Definitely not for a door. What's it for then? He's blue. Is it supposed to open something else blue? Ooh. And they kind of want to do it a little bit. So it's obviously for that... That, um... Case, but we need that number code for our still too. This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Should we just sort of get out of here? Was that easy to open? Yeah, well, I don't blame you. Oh, there's a screwdriver! This looks like Alright. So we combine this with the picture frame. Well, the screwdriver got those screws off easily enough, and here's the picture. Oh, look at that! Look at that! And obviously... Oh, it won't let us do the action, but obviously this corresponds to these. Combining items. Yes, I know how to combine items. I already did it. Alright. And I remember this. So you can see we have a red briefcase. So the way this works, if I remember properly, and this is also just my general assumption, is um, this is part of the key for the red one, and this is part of the key for the blue one. So there's probably another piece of paper we need to find. It's a closet. This is just like the blue briefcase. You have to block on that one too, and it ain't opening. So we need probably another piece of code, and we definitely need another key. Ah, there's the key. There's the red key. Should probably hold on to this key. Huh. Oh, what's, what's up with, with my face? Oh. I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... and... I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. Uh, man, work was rough today. Uh, your window's open. Huh? Mm -hmm. A breeze. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Oh, hi, Shay. Hi, Epitaph, and hello, Shelties. I didn't say hi to you, I'm sorry. Hmm. Everything I'm looks so okay. I'm excited about this game. I must have forgotten to close it. Yeah, I must have forgotten the closet. There's definitely nothing weird about this. <laughs> what? Who are? <sighs> I, I can't. So he's he's throwing some kind of gas in the room. If you couldn't tell, he's wearing the gas mask. And visually, that's not the best. Yeah, there we go. Thank you for the visual. Consider game. this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game. The Nonary Game. The Nonary Game? It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Ah, a very good point. Just who was that? They said... You have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game? Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! Well, it's something that I'm streaming right now, so that's good. Meta! There's nothing left on the mirror. Ah, uh, now I can't remember how to get this. Alright, so this is the mirror. I guess it's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it. Oh, it's like pulling on the lever, it just makes a weird noise. Great. But the red display hasn't changed yet, so obviously. 
that will change once we get what we need to get. Um, oh, yes. Here's the other one, yes. Alright, so. Now we have the two parts of this code. Let's start with the blue one. Alright, so. The square. And the. Alright, so I'm gonna write this down here on my end just for my own ease. So it's gonna be. Hello, my pet. What the. Pen! Would you please work? This isn't funny. This is very serious business. Alright, um. several mini games. All those will require you to apply the right object and click the right thing. Um, clicking the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Four numbers this way, then click the key. If the number is correct, it'll unlock. If not, then you cry forever and ever. So this should be... Nice! Alright, let's see if these numbers work. I turn to the key and hey, it looks like it's working! Let's open it up! Yes, it opened! like there's something in here. What's this? A file? File screen. If you find documents or notes during this game, the information contained will be available. Yep. File screen. Digital route. Computer digital route the following steps. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold on. We're gonna get that. We're gonna go into full map mode. Add the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add those digits to one another. That's pretty simple. If you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. So, seven, 678 would be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 21, 21, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. Correct. The digital root of 678 is 3. Simple enough, I hope we can all follow that. Correct. Adding numbers to like a single number. Looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, a calculator, and a stack of key cards. A stack of blue key cards. Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Alright, so we've got six, seven, eight. To the file screen. Uh, yes, we have a calculator that we can use to do math, but I can do that myself. Which to the rest of the story. Alright. So if I go back, what you can see that I can do is by pressing here. Oh. Oh, here we go. 
I can use the calculator, so I can put in a bunch of numbers and just automatically get the digital food. I can do whatever kind of math I need there. That just lets me to kind of play around with shit. Similar to uh, the way that the S was on. Yeah, five. What does that mean? I don't know. It's just the same number on your, your hand with the thing. Alright, so let's go over here to the red one and do the same thing. Let's give this a shot. I'm sorry if it makes you panic. You're supposed to be not comfortable right now. You're about to drown. 7-4. <laughs> 8. 3? No. 5. I can't read my own handwriting. Good job, Gina. Oh. Red key cards. And these must be the numbers 1, 2, and 3, I assume. Uh -huh. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Bulletin board, there's nothing on it. practice. Ow! Ugh, my head! Wait, is it... is it over? <laughs> Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. <laughs> well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door! Another door! Damn, this... Water! Ugh. 
Let me go! Oh, yes, it opened. What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? Oh! A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! Sea deck! Oh god, run! Titanic vibes, huh? Well, Epitaph, you're more... B deck! <laughs> you're more accurate than me now! Hurry! Hurry! A deck's next! What? And here, ladies and gentlemen, is our first bunch of assholes! People! A lot of people. And there's the other bunch. Um, a lot of people. Uh, um, uh, I guess there's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well... Great voice acting. Okay, Thank then. you. She's my favorite character. And you did a great job. Silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? We're, what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! They redid the art for the animations for this, too. They look awesome. That's nine of us, then. Yeah, it's A-Deck as an a now. <laughs> All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh... Oh, this mother... This mother trucker! <laughs> I remember him! Uh, <laughs> ah. so, what was that all about? Great conversation, dude! 11 out of 10 communication skills. You're gonna be a huge hey, asset. What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? <laughs> the doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four? And this one says. Five. Five? They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open! Damn it! not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. Yeah, you're a big guy. Body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still... Damn it! Are there any other doors? It is a little bit like Saw. So, um, he had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a plot point, I mean person. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. Now, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly towards her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. That's nine people. 
They, they, the guy said we have nine people, but he wasn't counting her. If you notice the pic, when he ran into them, there was four people on the one side of the staircase and then three on the other. So those seven plus him is eight plus her is nine. So there's nine of them here on the ship. Uh, as Junpei stepped onto the landing, her spell, the spell broke. No sooner he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Yeah! The quake caught the girl up Watch prepared, out! And she fell! Da -da 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 -da. Or so you thought. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Her face is far closer than it should have been. Mere inches from his own. Yeah. He was flat on his back, and she landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, they seemed, that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at one another. The ship started stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. The water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Chumpy. Chumpy. Her words echoed through Junpei's head and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane. Oh, it's the childhood friend. The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <gasps> oh, Junpei, this is not the time for romance. <laughs> <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. At that moment. <laughs> Ooh. This is your uh, captain's <laughs> What? What's that voice? So this is zero. You get it because there's nine of them, and you know, so he's zero. Do you get it? Thing. He's very clever. This is. That guy in the gas mask! Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? I want to play a game. It's called Saw. I mean, what? said this before. Nonary game. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. I know who Le Luch is, but I've never seen that anime. We will call them the Numbered Doors. Well, I, that was so... original. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Correct. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. This is a very important rule to this game. All those who enter must leave. All those who enter must contribute. So, burn this into your brain, children. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. 
It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Aha! There is no monster on the next turn. The small contact is lost. This year must be gone to sleep. No! I am fortunate. Ready to be cruel. The famous monster borrowed to a turn. Quite the next way out of the room. Well, Epitaph called it, didn't he? And now you get why it's called 999. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. That's where the name comes. They're amazing. It's like they thought this through. Gonna drop that bit now. We the game. I hear a bell. <coughs> I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. I like how they we gave them all the names. Oh. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then. Oh, just so happens to be nine o'clock. It's nine p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Good job with the math. Hey! You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! I love this guy, by the way. He's one of my uh, faves. That guy won't stop shouting. And the others. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> Whew. Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Hero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? Interesting Why question. Why me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. That's Best true. we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. Well, that's a good point. We what? Also, lady, your pants are falling down. Where Just have say. we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. So, first thing we're gonna do as we start this game is try to find a way to game the game. Good job. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn! If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown! No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. A good point. Well, a good point. That, that is... means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. And you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? might find something there. Ah, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase too, 
They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device either. Nope. It's locked. This one too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. Oh! <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man! Give me a hand! Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. Good job. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh my god, you're oh. also stressed! Sorry. You're only in a life or death situation. Calm down! It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Yeah, you're not getting out this way. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. Oh, I would agree with that. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it oh. mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. They There's an like inverted elevators. triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Yeah. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. Mm. What is this? You guys know what these markings are. It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. Uh -huh. It's an astrological symbol. Well then. Then the mark on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. You did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There. The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. Okay. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. <laughs> the horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. Okay, you can stop shoving off, Connie. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows, too. Huh. They're all covered. The sky's thorough, if nothing else, kids. In other words... We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? The fuck with you. And we can open them. <laughs> well, two of them at least. That's true. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. Wow. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh. Hey! Shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. That's right. We don't know anything about each other. True. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious, too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! 
Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. I mean, enough to track you down and kidnap you! Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. I mean, I suppose that's true. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Sure. Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? And why are you seven? Because oh. this bracelet number says seven. Original! Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. Santa? Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Yes, this is Santa. That's then your name. bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Okay. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. Eight. Lotus I would appreciate favorite. it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. Like Snake Eyes? Since Ace has chosen cards, ah, then I choose I dice. Right. Snake Eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. So take that into advisement for a second that he went all on about the water not moving. He's blind as fuck! <laughs> you can't see? I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? You must have four. Yeah. Alright, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be... Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. Sure, I she mean, said we all your know name. your name already. You're Junpei. Oh, yeah. Uh, then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right then, uh, why don't we call you June? June? Sixth month of the year. Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the sixth month of the year. All right. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Correct. Two is Snake. Correct. Three is Santa. Santa. Four yes. is Clover. Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. So original. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is. Oh, that this douchebag! Like a bird's nest. Hi. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Eh. <laughs> Guys, get ready for one of the most incredible scenes you've ever seen in your life in a video game. Watch, get ready. <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here, and you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. Well, yeah, also it's a very, like, um, Japanese trope thing too to have a blind person that basically is not deterred at all by their blindness. I don't need one. Oh. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Really? Yeah? What's that? You sure you wanna know? Yeah? All right, let me show you. I'm gonna do this! <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back! Ah. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open! Yup! It's going down for real! Uh. 
dude can't handle the pressure. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. Uh. Slowly, that's right, just follow me. Where did he get the knife? Uh, I don't know if they specifically say, but I assume it was in whatever room he woke up in. That's my personal assumption. Because if I woke up in this kind of situation and there was a knife in my room, I'd probably pocket it. It's probably not Here, a bad idea. Verify. <laughs> the left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. Just do it! Do it now! Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this? So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Correct. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Correct. So we're going to have a variety of people. We're going to have different combinations of people that are going to let us into each room. And we can take three to five of them at a time. Door five. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes, I am. So? Th then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Okay, so we've got five. The device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one number door. Correct. One more person. That Patat thinks he could be zero. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. Wow. Ha. Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Right. Add it to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine, nine is fourteen. fourteen. And then one and plus four is five. One plus four is five. Correct! In we know this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need no one else. <laughs> Thank but, God you were all so cooperative. But do you remember the rules, guys? Remember what I told now you? I can get out of this nightmare. All who go. All Good. Who... I don't need you anymore. Yeah. No. <laughs> Wait. Here. She's all yours. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then. Except. Goodbye. Remember the rule. Everyone who scans must end. Everyone who enters must leave. And everyone who enters must participate. But he went in by himself. Clover. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like what? Like some sort of beeping. 
You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Shit! Why isn't it stopping? God damn it! You... you lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Ugh, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! Oh, you got used as a demonstration of what happens when you don't follow the rules, didn't you? <laughs> well, <laughs> peace! <sighs> a beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Yeah, that shit's vacant now! <laughs> The display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. Okay, so five. Um... So I get to choose which one of these. So they all add up to nine, obviously. Um, either- oh! So, um, we can pick whichever one, so who do you guys want to see go through- the, who should- who should go in and, and look at this it, shit? Like, who, um, who should we bring with us? I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Should we bring Ace and Lotus, Snake and Seven, or Santa and June? Snake and Seven, take Beefy. That's what I was thinking myself, Shelties. Take Beefy. All right. Snake and Santa, Snake, you're coming seven. with us. Snake Seven, you think you could give me a hand here? Hmm? <sighs> 5 plus 2 plus 7 equals 14. The digital root of 14, 1 plus 4, equals 5. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my god. Good god. Whoa, that's... pretty bad. He... he blew up. <laughs> June, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh... All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are, are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? Yeah, when you said that it was a bomb, uh, you, you were absolutely on the money. What the hell is going on? What are we doing well, here? Well, he didn't follow the rules. <laughs> and now you've wasted an hour of your time. It's ten o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero is going on about is up! I love his voice actor. Let's get going already! Go! Go! Santa no, for president. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course, who else? 
Blood. Oh. Blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <clears throat> I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you? What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Do you? Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Right, I already explained then, this, but please go ahead. he broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... Ugh. All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? <sighs> Everyone who verified has to go. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? So important! I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? Mm -hmm. There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but... That seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? What do you Here. know? You refer to the ninth man as Susan? Oh god, Susan's dead! Oh no! A card? <laughs> what does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? What the hell is this? <laughs> I see. It's in this Braille. Is Braille! Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you, and only you, with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. Do you really have to go into his voice? It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. Yeah, they did, they, they did a not so great job with his voice, it's too garbled. I have placed a small arm inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. This sick box. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the bar will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. In other words, you will be unable to go to feed it, as you guessed you did not try. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote field, or timer. For the God in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. That condition is 
is that you are now a lower tower. Once you have done so, the tower will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. If, after my time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, and Sputnik 2 explode. Alrighty then. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the threat has also verified their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever on its side. Yes, it adds up to nine. I think that's why it's a, it's a, it's a general. It's a, it's a good enough time for them to be able to find where the dead is and get it to work while still keeping the nine theme. Is what I assume why he picked and it. The countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say. If you can pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the number doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. So long as the doors open, the dead will not function. You are too well to remember this. Lastly, we have discussed how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. And at yeah. last, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the pegs that it now is heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off or disable the detonator, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This guy kind of thought of everything. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. Now, there's something kind of suspicious about this situation. And I'm going to see if anybody can pick up on it because I had one immediate thought when I first played this game. I want to see. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Yes, Teams we can't get it. add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Uh, oh, oh, shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! He told you There's not to try. There's a bomb inside me. Oh. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? How the hell did Snake know the water was moving? Alright, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Ah, Shelty's picked up on Actually, it! I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. That was my first thought when I played this game, Shelties, was he's the only one that can read Braille. How do we fucking know that what he's saying is actually what's written on there? We have no way to know. And this is why I am always suspicious of Snake. Because I, I haven't gotten far enough in this game to know if he's legit or not. But that was exactly my first thought, is how do we know he's telling the fucking truth? I didn't see his face, though. I think that she didn't quit sick so much as just get queasy at the sight of, you know, the chunks of the number nine dude laying around. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. Yeah. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? I saw that too. I did as well. You're not special. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. 
We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. Hmm. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you oh, woke sorry. up together. Yes, Susan. I, I apologize, Epitaph. I didn't, I didn't call him by his correct name, the Chunks of Susan. I apologize. <coughs> so, what's the deal with the two of you, anyway? We're siblings. What? Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. Because you two look so alike. That really so hard to understand? So we have another pair of people who know each other, which is kind of interesting. She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Ah, uh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. Maybe? You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell? Ring a bell? <laughs> oh, did you just add Snake and Clover to the Sneaky Snakes Club? Are this, is the Sneaky Snakes Club back in session? Because it hasn't really hardcore been around since uh, Asagao Academy, but are we bringing it back? Are we bringing back the Sneaky Snakes Club? Which is funny because his name is Snake, so it actually works. It actually fits. Somebody, yeah, somebody threw a punch in his face, see if he ducks or not. <laughs> well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. Y'all are crazy. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. That is true, some expensive shit. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Really? Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. Aw, that's an interesting possibility. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Aw, uh, I would second that. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. Alrighty, so, so far, Clover and Snake are in the Sneaky Snakes Club, alright. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. I thought we were finished with that topic, but then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! You know, I was gonna say the same thing, sorry. Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You Game really play? sure you wanna just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Good question. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Right. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. 
Hey, man. I just bought these shoes. Wow. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. Another thing coming? What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Really? Fine. I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. Yeah, he can't what? see the blood, so what the fuck does he care? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and snake is two. And if you add clovers four in my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital ah. root of 14, one plus four is five. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are 8, 3, 6, and 5. Right. 8, 3, 6, 5. What would our digital root be? Let's see. Uh, 8 plus 3 is 11. And 11 plus 6 is 17. 8 to 22 is 2 is 4. Which works. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 is 22. So, the digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. That works. It's 4. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Uh, I wanted to go with Snakey Clover, those sneaky snakes. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. That's all right. I love Lotus and Santa's. Santa, so. Are these really the teams I want? Shelties! My god, girl! Beyond door five. What are you saying? What remains of the ninth man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... which door? Okay, so... Yeah, I know what you're saying, Shelby's. So let's see. I'm just gonna take a little looky loo with this handy dandy flow chart I have. Here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, the flow chart is garbage. Fantastic. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, I know, um, um, oh, I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, okay. and June. Well, I was gonna try to take up. A... There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. It's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others are going. I usually go through door 5, I think, so this should be interesting to see what's behind door 4. See if I recognize it. Now then, goodbye. Be careful. <sighs> so horrible! What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. 
Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake! Let's go! Bye, bitches! Have fun storming the castle! Hey! How is it over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Uh, something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? <sighs> hey, there it is! That's gotta be that dead thing! Come on, get over here! We gotta authenticate! The beeping stopped. Phew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys! Are you doing alright over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh, hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead okay. is just like the red, but the color is different. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome! Thanks! That helps a lot. Well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. I think it's just a general Ooh. warning beep. Now it's our turn. Alright, to door I'll four go first. we go. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. Alright. Let's go. Run! Oh, damn. It's counting down. Oh. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device. Hey! Where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! I already am! <sighs> Don't tell me the hallway. dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. Uh, it, it won't open. I shall it won't open. So good. Same here. It's not moving. Oh. There it is, at the end of the hallway. Run! Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds. I know that, goddammit. I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. Hurry! Oh, no. we were too busy. It's the dead. Yeah. Come on, everyone. It looks like it stopped. <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. A keyhole. Ah. What's this mark? It, mail? Mars? No, not exactly. That's probably mm. the symbol of Mars. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. The sun. Saturn and Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? I think so, yes. <laughs> Epitaph! <laughs> yeah, guess what? That 81 seconds is total. <laughs> the next door's gonna suck! <laughs> I see. Wait, where's Santa? Santa, where are you? Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. I remember this puzzle. I remember the two-room puzzle. Two, three! 
Hey, it opened. Yeah, <laughs> it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. I can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. To finding a way out. Let's do it. Do it. All right. So this is room 92. Um, you can kind of see the layout here. Okay, yeah. So that's the door out. That's the wall. Oh, yes! There's something with these tiles. I remember this. Oh, by the way, guys, if this is the same way that it was in the original game, you're about to lose your mind. There's a little blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's for putting soap on. I used a shower once, so I know. Yes, they kept it. <laughs> the first time I played this, I was like, what? <laughs> you used a shower once? Okay. <laughs> shower knob. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. No water's coming out. Shower head. Alright, otherwise there's nothing for us to do here at the moment. Here's the bathroom. Uh, why don't we go back to the living room? Oh no, I don't want to go back to the living room. I want to see what's here. Let's check the toilet. There's nothing in there. The tank's empty too. There's not even any water in it. Look should have full of partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Some of them well prepared. Just about it. Alright. Alright, so there's nothing in here at the moment, although I do believe those I remember those tiles being a thing. I mean, it's so expensive. I wonder how much we can get for it. Are you gonna steal it? <laughs> wow, you are freaky as shit, lady. This is kind of a weird looking picture. Snapchat painting or something? It kind of looks like a demon with an elephant, like those, sucking on a human being's brain. Where the hell did that come from? What is her brain made of? Let's see if I can look up with design. Looks like there's a room on the right. Yeah, I know. Alright, so. There's not really much else that you can do. Ah, matches! It's a box of matches. There are matches inside, obviously. Uh, it does seem too suspicious about the outside, but that's one Oh yeah, how's your that. fever? Oh. You feeling better now? Yes, I'm fine. Let me see your forehead. Oh! <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? Alright guys, so here we go. Do we- should we- should we play it off like we're into her? Or should we just play it cool? What do you guys think? Are we- are we into June? Are we into her? Just burn down the boat. Yeah, just light the entire boat on fire and be like, Fuck it, I'm going out my own way. Zero's there like, shit. I did not anticipate this. <laughs> <laughs> Shelties! Shelties is like, are they trying to bone in a life or death situation? Ah, uh, you know what? If you find it that absurd, Shelties, I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, I, I guess I am. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy. Hmm. How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-Deck. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? Whoa! No, why Lady. would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. 
Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? <laughs> oh, Jesus. You mean, like, the number of men I've dated? <laughs> Do you want to know? Oh, my God! <sighs> don't worry. Only 18. <laughs> Time zero. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I see. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yes. Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? Hmm. No, nothing. Oh, um... Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal? Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. Now you're suspicious of her. Is June in the Sneaky Snakes Club now? Are you gonna just throw everyone in there? Cause you I can know, the barely remember any of them. The Sneaky Snakes Club doesn't really mean too much if you throw every goddamn character into the Sneaky Snakes Club. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if they're all in there. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Jumpy, what are you doing? You don't have time to be relaxing on a sofa. Listen, lady. It's a display case, so there's nothing being displayed. How sad. Looks like the drawers are empty, too. Well, doesn't that just... Pinch my balls. What's this? Oh. Okay, you're just... That's just... Awesome. It's a round wooden table. Alright, uh, well, we have this door here. That's the... Oh. It's a bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. Probably have it here because your photo was feels dry when you wake up, you know? I'm sure that this is a little nervous right now. Oh, um, we didn't run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Did you want to take a shower together? Lady! Jesus Christ, too late to take it back. My brain's already working out the picture. Sure is so, Okay. I'm going to cover it. There are a couple inside, surprisingly, no one. Like, would like it with some designs on it. Something, someone's made it better, at least never unmade it. The convention says would like it, nothing exciting, but nothing pillows. Yes, it's a double. What's up? You're turning red. Oh man, is her fever back? She's thinking about boning you. I'm fine. I think it's still a little early for that. Seriously, are you really okay? Lady. Bed frame. Now we don't have to worry about falling off. I toss and turn when I sleep. She's what the hell is she thinking about? Dude, if you don't know what she's thinking about, you need problems. This is depicting it's a map. Let's look at the map of the ship's interior. This is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. It's not possible to use the map screen. Yes. It can only be used during service. This ship is bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. I get you, Avatar, but think even those doors are like, you know, they're they're metal. Like you couldn't. Do even you remember what door. Zero said? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I don't understand what he said. Do you said. think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Oh. Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Do you think this boat is... A replica of the Titanic? A replica of the Titanic? Mm -hmm. A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. <laughs> no way! Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? 
It's the site of the worst accident in history. <sighs> Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. A curse, huh? Oh, Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? Um... Yeah, well, um, I, I guess so. I, to a certain extent. Uh, what about you? Nah, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. <laughs> what? And uh, the curse that I put on you was going to sink this ship too. Have fun, Jumpy! <laughs> a curse sank the Titanic. <laughs> Fucking The curse crazy of bitch. the Egyptian mummy. <laughs> Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra, which was stolen from a pyramid. Oh my and god. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! That mummy, the priestess, supposedly, she was special. Maybe she's zero. Mean? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Pretty? Yes. But she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax. Yeah. The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And yes, saponification. But that's not what it was. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. Oh my god. What? That, frozen? Yeah, I heard that. I, I, I think right. I heard something about the China. The whole being body Titanic. was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even though it was carried through the desert. Her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Oh my god. Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. What? Uh, th nah, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. W well, yeah, um... You're nuts. Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. Okay, now that we're done with that level of stupidity, let's go here. It's a dresser. There's nothing on top. Ah, but we have a key! Key, key to the dresser? Oh, it could be. And now she's like, okay, she realized she's doing that. If you don't have time for that, you want to look for here, anyone you need to impress. Yes, there is. Who? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Get it, Jumpy! Back soon. Okay, so I think we're good here for the moment. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's stuff in the other room. Ah, see the speaker on the left side of the base. It's a mirror of the other room, and here we have a tile with a black and white pattern on it. There's a square tile in this room. Move there quite well. I don't think you can take it out. Alright, so maybe we need to bring stuff to it. 
can use their bathroom. This bathroom, this is the bathroom wall. The whole wall's covered in these square tiles. Little shelf for putting stuff on. That's the shower knob. I tried tuning it, but no water comes out. Oh, look, you pee. There's a mushroom going out of the water. You're an idiot. That's a shower. You absolute butt face. Is there anything in the toilet? It's not. Makes it two. Alright, so this looks pretty much looks the same. Curtain on the ceiling, it's probably the shower curtains. Where are the curtains at? That means if someone's taking a shower, nobody else can use the bathroom. So I don't see the problem with that. You're a pervert. Wow, really? Hey, check this out! This is a pretty nice sofa! I know, it's a shame I can't take it back with me. Alright, so you got shit in your case. She looked really expensive. Wanna take a look? Yeah. Damn, guess this is the wrong key. Well, there's just gotta be another one somewhere around here, otherwise you're not gonna be able to open this thing. Alright, so there's this is another piece of that tile. It looks like. That looks like the one we saw in the other room. Bitch open. I don't think throwing a table out is gonna break it. Alright, so yeah, the thing of interest in here is definitely that square. Candle for the canister. This might come in handy. Alrighty. Candle, do you play somewhere? Candle. Okay, that room's pretty dark. Don't you have something that'll give us some light? Something that'll give us some light. You mean like the candle? And I have matches from the other room. Let's combine them. I know, if I use these matches to light the candle, we can do a thing. Well, that was pretty easy. Awesome light for this candle. Maybe we can take a look around here, but it gets so hot when I hold it. I want to put it down. I'll just set it on top of the dresser. It's flat there. At least it won't fall over. Wow, you're so friggin' smart. Hey, got pretty bright. I have to look around a little. Dresser drawer, it's locked. This, yeah, that's where the key goes. Oh, and here's another plate. All right, so we need one more plate because we got the one in the display case and this one here. Oh, there's the curtain to hang up. Okay. Curtain, huh? Well, all right, so maybe we can try hanging it up. It feels like it's probably waterproof. We should make this a shower curtain. Ooh. Maybe we can hang it up. Here. Maybe we can like it. Nope, nothing suspicious here. Pills in a pile. Pile of pillows. This must be some kind of joke. Okay, calm down. All right. Huh? What the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out. We should go see. Uh oh. The candlestick's covered in wax and oh. Top of the candlestick. It's all bumpy. It's almost like a key. I see where this is going. Yes, it opened! Alright, so that shit open! Ba -ba -ba. Alrighty! Hey, Junpei, you got a minute? Hmm? Yeah, Santa? Here, take this. A bookmark? What is this for? It's clover! Uh, do you want me to read a book? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? <laughs> You know what I hate most in the world? I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Hope, faith, love, and luck? Damn straight. 
And you hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, not really, but what does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, see, uh... each leaf on the four-leaf clover has a meaning to it, okay? And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, leaf language, I guess? Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. The meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover. So, yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touching it gives me the creeps. Take the damn thing, all right? Here. Uh, I'll take it. All right, sure, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, man, I feel a lot better now. That thing was a real pain, you know? Do you really hate those four words that much? Yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? Hope, faith, love, even your destiny. Well, that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. I just can't bring myself to like the number four. Oh, well, that doesn't spell good for Clover herself. What? Worried about the four horsemen? Nah, come on, man. That's just silly. Maybe back in the Dark Ages, that kind of crap scared people. This is the 21st century, and I'm a 21st century guy. I'm a little insulted. Then why do you hate four so much? Because it's a half-ass number. Not the best or the worst. That's why. You... what? Nine <laughs> is a way better number. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. What are you... You play? Play? You mean, like, gambling? Uh, yeah, of course. What else would I mean? Um, uh... In Baccarat, the best possible hand totals nine. They call it Le Grand. But the lowest, most worthless cards, zeros. They call monkey. Just like the guy in charge of this game, huh? <laughs> zeros a monkey. What? <laughs> Oh man, you're totally right. The guy who trapped us in here sure is one hell of a monkey. You know, if you think about it, the Nonary game is really a lot like Baccarat. And of course it doesn't use any of that stupid digital root junk. You just drop the tens digit and that's it. Still, it does have the same idea of your final number needing to be a single digit. Oh, yeah, I guess you got a point. And in both games, whoever has nine wins. The person who makes nine wins? Wait, did you forget already? Don't you remember what Zero said? It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. So, if we want to get off this boat, we have to make a team whose numbers have the digital root of nine. And only the people in that team are going to make it out alive. Of course. That's why it's called the Nonary Game. And also, only three to five people can go into a door, so you know what that means, guys. What? Huh? You don't know? Nonary means something derived from nine, or base nine. It's derived from the Latin prefix nona, which means nine. While we're at it, the prefix for one is uni. You know, like the unicorn, the horse with one horn. Two is bi, like binary. Binary means composed of two parts. Three is tri. I'm sure you've heard that one plenty. Like trio, triple, and triangle. You get the idea. After that, you have quart, quinty, sext, septum, and so on. And of course, the prefix for eight is octo, like octopus. It's called that because it has eight legs. Get it? I see. So then Nona means nine. So Correct. how many of us are trapped on this ship? That'd be nine. And what are the bracelet numbers we have? They go from one to nine. And our time limit? How many hours did we have? Zero said nine hours. Yes. And finally, to get out of this ship... We need to find the door with a nine that's hidden somewhere in the ship. Correct. By making a team with the digital root of nine. And there you have it. The number nine is everywhere in this game. He's got a real theme of nines for this whole thing. No wonder it's called the Nonary Game. that all right so the shower curtain is the next thing I want to tackle uh, I want to try to see if I can hang it up here this curtain 
rod while you load this ceiling. Let's put the shower curtain on these up. Just put the curtain. Oh, hey! For the obvious people, someone's really dedicated. But I wonder maybe if they want it to be cussed. You think maybe the one is getting spit on that shit. But, what if... Oh, the curtains are right over there, so I couldn't see it. This is what I wanted, this hole in the curtain. Look at it from a ways back, you can see a single tile. You can see what tile it is, it looks like it's fifth from the top and third from the right. I have a feeling we need to write this down. Up, and third from the right. Well, there's only one place I can think of to look at that, and that's in the other room. What's up? You gonna go back already? Well, I can't just leave June there by yourself. Is it your knight of protector or something? Creeping me out. Whatever, man. <laughs> oh, is it creeping you out that I'm gonna get laid? So sorry. Alright. So fifth from the top. One, two, three, four, five. And third from the right. That's this one. Here it is. Yes, this one's loose. Here I my nails and hey! We got the last play, yes, queen. Woo! Beautiful. Now I think we need to recreate this picture. So I'm gonna try to picture this in my mind. Um. I'm seeing like a seahorse. Well, you can't see me pointing. Well, I can use my. I'm seeing like a seahorse here, and like a, a cross here, and like a big sword here. Okay, so. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of things, I'm thinking of like a seahorse, okay, I'm trying to just think of dumb ways to remember this, okay, let's go. I'm gonna go check up on them, I'm not gonna go check up on them, what I'm gonna do is a tile this frame, so I guess let's put tiles in the empty spaces, alright. Something, you know? Maybe let's take a look. I think there's something inside. Ah, oh, the key to the Mars door. What's the deal with this picture, anyway? I. I think I've seen this picture before. Where? Really? In a book. There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting theory. I saw this picture in his book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenetic fields which relies on the theory of morphic resonance. Man, I can't deal with this. Just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. In essence, he states that the shape of living organisms and their behavioral patterns are transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Uh, what part of that isn't difficult, exactly? <laughs> All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. Telepathy? Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for a simple approximation. <laughs> Are you serious? 
serious. Telepathy. Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? Jesus Christ. I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Oh, stop. Yes, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. It was probably just someone latching onto a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. But even so, I... Um... Anyway, I saw a picture like that one in his book. Hey, what do you think this picture looks like? What do you mean? I Isn't think it's it a seahorse like with like a fucking sword like here. Alright, we went through this. It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. That's it. What about you, Junpei? Does it look like anything to you? Hmm, I, I guess it looks like... None of these. Uh, which one do we think looks closest? A small boat floating in a lake? That's the front of the boat, and then there's the oars sticking out. Nope. You're wrong. This is a dog. See? What? Like... Th oh! So... Now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. A, a TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify. Initially. But once you figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything Yeah, else. I can't see it as anything else other than a dog now. Now I don't see the seahorse anymore. These two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one, well, to make it easier. Let's just say it was this picture of a dog. So, their experiment. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world, outside the reach of British airwaves. To Ireland, the US, Africa, right. Europe, etc. Then, in each country, they gathered a number of test subjects, roughly a thousand people. They were shown the two pictures and asked, what does this picture look like to you? The results weren't really interesting on their own. 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. 3.9% saw the dog in the dog picture. You're remembering this way, Then, back. two days later, they aired a new program on their show. During the 30-minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. After the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. This time, they only found a sample of roughly 850 people. Naturally, none of them had participated in the first test. They were, however, given the same tests and the same two pictures. The results were startling. 10% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. The previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a change, statistically. The dog picture, however, produced a very different result. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog, it went from 3.9% to 6.8%, a very significant increase. So do you understand? Do you realize the significance of this experiment? There was no way the second group could have seen the picture. They lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went I up. See. Why? How did that happen? What does it mean? Oh, wait, does this have something to do with that field? Or whatever it was that you were talking hey, about earlier? Hey, Sulfur, what's going on? A field not visible to the eye. So, if more people know the answer, then that information will pass through the field. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Psych! <laughs> what? I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me seriously. Well, I mean, the things I just told you about are true. They really did happen. But the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by. They could have easily falsified them. In the end, I'm sure they were just in it for the ratings. They are a TV station, after all. Right! <laughs> Man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. I, uh, really thought you were serious. <laughs> of course not. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just 
pseudoscience. Uh, oh, pseudoscience. okay, right. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't horrified by what you were saying or anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. Word. Word. Huh. A field not visible to the naked eye. Morphogenetic field. Let's go to the hallway. I'll go get you. You guys head to the door. Roger that. Yes, it unlocked. Get going. Come on, Jumpy. Let's go. And we solved it. Yes. Oh, another hallway. Oh, come on, open! It's not going to open because you rattled it, you know. Damn it! Do you guys see what's coming? I hope you see what's coming. Look over here! Elevators. And the buttons? Of course they don't work. Of course. The power must be out here too, just like by the staircase. That leaves this door. Well, looks like we don't have any choice. Yeah. Sure does. Well then, let's open it. All right. Here I go. Oh. oh. So it's a kitchen. What were you expecting? Isn't it obvious? The exit. I was hoping this would be the way out of here. <laughs> you really think it'd be that easy? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. If we can just get through this door, we should come out on the other side of that grate we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Don't we need a key for that? <sighs> no good. Sorry, I guess that wasn't very constructive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Anyway, uh, let's take a look. Alright. Hey! What's that? Oh, we forgot to tell you! We huh? found a map! Oh yeah, uh, I guess I forgot to tell you. I found this a little while ago. It's yeah, a map that's a wooden of the door. Let's burn it down. Let me see that. I knew it. See? Look. Yes, yes. Hold your horses. What did you figure out? This is handy. See? We came in here. Now if we go out there, then we'll be on the other side of the grate. How right. about that? She's right. We can get out through there. There we go. Here, you can have it back. Thanks. There's a card reader on the right side of the door. And that means the key card is somewhere in here, right? Let's find that it. seems the most likely. All right, we know what we need to do then. Let's get moving. First off, I say we split up and look for clues. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, I know you're talking about the ship itself, but... The door is wood, so you could start with the door. Like, that's a good big thing to start burning, right? Alrighty, here's our kitchen. It's an L shaped kitchen, pretty uh, standard. Immediately, I saw this immediately. Appetizer 9, meat dish 10, so okay. Oh, wait! Appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup A. Alright, so 9, 10, A, F. Mm. Okay, so we should probably keep that in mind. Those 9 plates are pretty expensive. Well, excuse me, princess! I. Fifteen. Oh my god. Stop it! We're not. Ugh, why are you bringing up June? The lady doth protest too much, methinks. You are not terribly subtle. Those plates of serving meat. This crab cheese. The fashion doesn't match the number of plates on the table. This is appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup A, seafood dish F on the voucher. And the plates on the table are 9 appetizer, 16. Alright, hold on. Uh, so. So, 10 is A, and 15 is F, apparently. And the 
appetizers, nine, and then meat, sixteen. I'm writing this down. Maybe they're using hexadecimal here. The number system that goes eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, ten, eleven. way to think about it. I think I get it. So with that knowledge in mind, this pot looks like it's made out of silver. I've been drinking tea for this pot would be really yummy. Spending a day off with June drinking tea can such a day ever happen for me? Put it back in your pants! much. Okay. Oh, a whetstone. A whetstone. What are you planning on doing with that? Oh, she looks like you're going to smash open the card reader. Are you an idiot? <laughs> yeah, seriously. We use it to sharpen something. That is what a whetstone is for. I wonder what we can look at to sharpen. Oh, hey! Probably what you're supposed to end the password. You put the right number to open the other door. Alright. Hot the frying pan. Oh, and the pressure cooker. There's some bottles of seasoning here. Alright, it's going. Do you think this is all part of Zero's plan? Probably. I don't believe there's a chef on board somewhere. Meal and metal grill on top of the grill, they make it like that so that the fat juices can drip off the meat while it cooks. Correct. Alright, check the sealed shot. That's where the coal goes. Alright. Alright, the key card is going to be here. We need to sharpen something. What do we need to sharpen? Oh, is that in here? The trash really suits you. What did you just say? She's saying that you're trash. Hello, Rie. Yes, 999 is happening. It's a thing and it's going down. <laughs> Listen, lady, I did you a favor. I knew you'd just piss and moan, so I did it for you. Oh my, I don't recall asking you to do anything. Ugh, I'm gonna throttle you. Excuse me. Does it feel colder in here? She's she gonna bust your ass. Oh, countertop. There's only pin and colander here. Nothing useful. It's a 
bottle of oil. Oh, we can open up that, uh, that thing. That, uh, rusty bolt. Oh. Ah, there's a knife to sharpen. A rusty hey. Knife. I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. It's futile. Futile? You know, a waste. Useless. Pointless. Oh. Um, nice, uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Oh, no reason, really. I was just thinking about futility. Huh? Why were you thinking about futility? Why? Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. The Titanic? Yep. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking oh of the God. Titanic was predicted? Um, yes. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. There was a novel that had a bunch of stuff in it that described the sinking of the Titanic before it actually sank. Yeah, that's the one. The title of the novel is Futility. It was written 14 years before the Titanic sank, but... I know, I know. I mean, I didn't know the name of the book, but the story was the same, right? It was just like what happened on the Titanic? Yeah. Well, I heard it was all a hoax. A hoax? I heard that the stuff that matched up to the Titanic so well was actually added after it sank. Apparently, the only thing that was the same originally was that a boat ran into an iceberg and sank. But the novel was published in 1898, 14 years before the accident. Like I said, that was the first print of the book. Yeah, the voice is not bad. 14 years later, the author heard about what happened to the Titanic. He figured that was his chance, you know? He just went back and changed some stuff in his novel so that it matched the Titanic exactly. What really? a douche. Really? There's no such thing as premonitions or any of that stuff. But, 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 that wasn't the only book that predicted the Titanic sinking. It, it wasn't? Yep. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Both of them before the accident. One in 1886 and one in 1892. Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. In one, two ships collided. Many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. Yeah, well that's... In the other, a ship collided with an iceberg and sank. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that it seems a little weird, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. Right, I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But... What if Stead had some sort of special powers? You are to the be more weirdest specific? girl. What if he had the ability to do automatic writing? We're gonna get into automatic That's writing. Weird. Automatic writing? Wait, are you are you talking about when someone's possessed by a spirit and then yes. they, they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing? That is what automatic yes. writing is. What do you is. mean, yes? That stuff's a load of bull. But Jumpy, you said you believe in curses. Come on, that's totally different. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load. These guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the Titanic. I feel like my top, <laughs> my top suspect at this point is June because she just seems to be trying to waste time with spoiler stories. His thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if automatic writing is about being possessed by dead people, <laughs> who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? That's not it. What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was doing the possessing. Oh. Hmm. What are you smoking? William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes 20 years before it happened. Um, well, uh... <laughs> well, uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Yes. Huh? But... Come on, let's get back to it. Thank you. I don't think we can find these yet, though. No. That's for the door. Definitely. There's so much stuff in here. A whole lot of cans. This is probably a pantry. Yeah, I would assume so. Okay. So I got what I wanted out of here. This bolt is rusted in place. It won't budge. Of course! Maybe if I put some oil on it. Hey! Just a little bit of oil in. Come on! Oh, you little son of a bitch! Hey! You did it, Jumpy! You're so smart. Oh, it's cold oh, in here. Shit, you better not lock me in this what shit. What is this place? It's the freezer. Are you blind? It's a freezer. 
No, no way. That's way too cold for me. I'll freeze solid in seconds. Sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to pass on this one. I'm going to leave the rest to you. Great job! Oh, whoa. It's really cold in here. Hey, you don't need to be in here. You had a fever just a little bit ago. You should stay outside. We got this. No, I'm fine. My fever's gone now. But... Huh? What did I say? <sighs> no! Why did it suddenly close? <sighs> ah! The knob's frozen! But why? It looks like the pipe next to it broke, and... Hey! Lotus! You're out there, right? Open the door! What do you want? What's going on? The door won't open! Try opening it from that side! Please! Oh, fine. If you say so, hold on. Well! It's no use. It won't budge. You've got more people in there. You figure it out. Whoa, listen to me, lady. Oh. Uh, God damn it. Anyway, uh, let, let, let's find a way out. If we don't get moving, we're, we're going to be permanent residents. Two heads are better than none. Jesus Christ. I, I'm sure we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah, you're right. Let's just take a good look around this room, okay? Right. This is frozen meat up there. Look at the pork. This is a bag or something. A chunk of pork. Okay. Oh, dry ice. Dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide, right? Yeah, it is. I wonder how warm it has to get for it to turn back into gas again. Hell if I know. How is that going to help us anyway? Oh, well, I figured we might be able to use it to get out of here. Carbon dioxide sublimation point is negative 109 degrees. How do you know this Any shit? warmer than that, and it'll turn into gas. Any lower, and it becomes a solid. Oh, how do you know that? <laughs> Despite my looks, I'm the clean... <laughs> the queen of random knowledge. Looks bad to mess up when you're showing off. Oh, you're so cold your mouth's going numb? Yes, yeah, that's right. You're just doing that on purpose, aren't you? Come on, guys. I wonder why it doesn't turn into a liquid first. Uh... How the hell would I know? And how the hell is that going to help us get out of here? We don't have time for this crap. Oh, but it can turn into a liquid! Oh, carbon dioxide turns to liquid if you put it under high enough pressure. This isn't really a good time for a chat about science. But I was wondering the same thing. Wondering what? Oh, wondering why carbon dioxide doesn't turn into a liquid unless it's under pressure. Right? It just seems weird. Water's a liquid between 32 degrees and 212 degrees. So why isn't that the case for carbon dioxide? H2O and CO2 are pretty similar. No, they're not. They're totally different substances. Look, guys, if we keep this up, we're just going to freeze to death. Yes. You good with that? You want to die talking about sublimation and gases? Because I sure as hell don't. Epitaph, I saw that joke. Work. Assuming you don't want to end up like a pair of ice sculptures. Oh, but Jumpy, there's a kind of ice that doesn't turn into liquid when it goes above 32 degrees. I heard about it. Its melting point is 96 degrees. Ice with a melting point of 96 degrees? You mean there's water that freezes at 96 degrees? Yeah, well, you could also look at it as ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. 96 degrees, ice that won't melt. Oh, that is interesting. So what's this ice with a melting point of 96 degrees because called? Because that, that, that coal thing is I on the other I heard it's called room. Ice 9. Ice 9? Originally, Ice-9 was a made-up substance nine. invented by a science fiction author. <sighs> but recently, scientists have discovered that such a substance actually exists. Wait, hold up. So is this thing called Ice-9, or is it water? Like I said, if the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. If it's under that, it'll solidify. 
So, you could think of it as a polymorph of H2O. Here, think of it like diamonds and graphite. They're both made of carbon, right? But depending on the structure of the crystallization, oh, the hardness and structure are completely different. So you're saying normal water and this Ice-9 are like that? Yep. Have you heard the story about the crystallization of glycerin? Oh my god, we don't have time for this! 150 years We're after the discovery of glycerin, people cooled it, warmed it. They did all sorts of things to it. But whatever they did, it never crystallized. However, one day in 1920, some glycerin on its way to England by ship was discovered to have crystallized during the trip. Scientists around the world wanted to research this new, crystallized form of glycerin and asked for seeds. Oh, a seed is a sample of the original crystallized substance. With a seed crystal, further crystallization of glycerin would be easy. However, something very strange happened. Not only did the glycerin encouraged by seed crystals begin to crystallize, even the samples nearby did, even though they were tightly sealed. And it didn't end there. After that day, it doesn't matter where in the world it is, all glycerin crystallizes naturally when cooled to less than 64 degrees. Before that day, no matter how glycerin was cooled, it refused to crystallize. But once the crystallization had begun, it was almost like... How do I put it? It was almost like all the glycerin in the world was communicating. Communicating in some way that we can't sense. Just like with the picture? And now, it's happening everywhere. Wow, that's, that's pretty interesting. But, uh, what does that have to do with Ice-9? What she's saying is that it's a lot like Ice-9. What happened, I mean. A lot like? Oh, that would be bad. If water everywhere started freezing at 96 degrees, man. It'd be the end of the world. <sighs> at any rate, we're not gonna have to worry about the end of the world unless we can get out of here pretty damn quick. Really? Alright guys, I think that's enough of that. I didn't think we'd get quite this far off topic. I mean, I know I'm kinda at fault here, but we can't be screwing around anymore. So seriously, I might go by the name Santa right now, but I didn't grow up in ice. <laughs> Freaking hate the cold. So let's get cracking, all right? We gotta find a way out of here. Selfish, isn't he? Ice Nine is interesting and all, but we can discuss it more once we get out of this freezer. I got frozen Ooh. chicken. Which is apparently another thing I was supposed to get, I guess. Fight. Water hit the doorknob and frozen in place. So it actually seems almost warm. Water falling from the pipe. Yes, I have the dry ice. First of all. I'm supposed to combine this release. Really cut something pretty good with this. Oh, maybe I can just cut the bag open now. Try ice earlier. Yes, I know. I was trying to. I tried to. Really, in a sealed container. This thing's covered in something. It's frozen solid. I can't flip it over.
Bonk it with the- I'm trying to bonk it with everything. I'm now at the point where I'm just going to start using my items on everything. on it. I was trying to do. Oh, wow. I needed a specific kind of freaking meat to break it. Dry ice is all in pieces now. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm gonna put this in charge. Water bottle. Bomb. Put water into the bottle with dry ice and make sure the lid's closed. Now I just have to put this makeshift bomb on the doorknob. All right, that's set. So, uh, what do we do now? We just need to give it a little uh, tap. The bottle's already about to pop. If we just throw a rock or something at it, it'll go off all on its own. A small rock? Huh. A small rock. Or a chunk. All right, oh. this ought to do the trick. Ah, some dry ice, huh? Not a bad idea. All right, guys, stand back. Actually, we should probably hide somewhere. Where exactly do you expect us to hide, Genie? There isn't really anywhere big enough. Okay. Yeah, there is. Look, yeah. right here. We can hide in there. Come on, okay. get inside, quick. All right. Here I go. Three, four, five. You're counting the wrong way. Really? Oh, oops. <laughs> that is a really sad excuse for a joke, man. Sorry, dude. All right, for real this time. You guys ready? Yes, whenever you're ready. Just throw the damn thing. Let's do it. All right, here I go. Three, two, one. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. The blast must have shattered it. Yes. All right. Let's see if it opens. 
Nice. Hooray! We're out! Move! Yeah, really. Oh, god damn it! Hot, 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 hot. Fuck! Well, you did just grab the grill. What did you think would happen? Hey, where's Lotus? Oh, uh, welcome back. I was starting to get tired of waiting for you guys. Lotus, I'm a bitch slap you! What were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? I was waiting. We were gonna die! Oh, yeah? But you didn't. So everything worked out all right, didn't it? What the hell? <laughs> Just kidding. It might not look like it, but I was really worried. Oh, don't give me that crap! I'm telling the truth. I mean, if you died, then I'd be in trouble too. If you died, then I'd be stuck here, and I'd die too. See? Uh, I did all I could. I even looked around to see if there was anything I could use to pry open the door. But I couldn't find anything. So, all I could do was wait. I mean, what else did you want me to do? Call the cops? Fine. But there's one thing I have to ask you. What's that? You didn't close the door, did you? Wait, what? You think I closed the door on you? Now, why would I do something like that? It closed on its own. I told you before, if you die, then I die too. Yeah, I guess so. If she really wanted to kill us, all she had to do was bar the door from the outside. But she didn't. That's true. Well, she didn't do anything. She's only lazy, or negligent at least. Not an attempted murderer. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. Hmm? Oh, yes, well that's alright. As long as you understand. Hey, no more screwing around, you two. Great time's over. Especially for you, lady. You've just been sitting on that fat ass of yours while we were freezing to death. How rude. I was plenty busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about you put all that energy into something besides bitching? Let's go. All right, Ian. I think that I'm actually going to go to the menu. and I should have been saving, but I'm going to just... I'm just gonna save right there. Save right now. Um, and I think that we are going to um, end for the day because it's about that time. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. This is only the beginning. Obviously, we have lots of other rooms to go through. And uh, we could do another playthrough where we go through door five instead. We could experience some new stuff. Um, so I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, high fives, all that good stuff. Come to the Twitch stream, follow us on Twitch, and join us for our live streams sometime. We always have a ton of fun, especially with games like this. You can come help us figure out the solutions to the puzzles. Um, if you want to contribute to the stream, there are donation links below the Twitch stream. There's also our fish official Facebook page. We have um, a public Discord that we're always chatting on. We have a Steam group if you're uh, interested and you're watching this on YouTube, all those links are in the description below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.